Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um, yo, we got Boosie on the on the on the Kendrick Lamar Drake beef situation thing going down, like whatever. We are gonna talk about that, all right? We also got um, uh, what, what else I had over here, man? Um, folks removing their songs from streaming services apparently with with in that Drake J Cole situation. Um, uh, we also got uh, Cardi B learning how to um, what you call it, man. Uh, we got somebody else passing away, man. Yeah, people die, you know it happens all the time. I hate to say it like that, but yeah, you know I mean you gonna die, I'm gonna die. Like it's just gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, what else we got over here, man? We got um, uh, folks getting man murdered, man. We got finesse two times with another message for NBA young boy, man. Lil Uzi verse uh, performance, and we also got uh, OJ Simpson's family in the NDAs. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Yo, if this your first time to the channel, man. Be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that. You can tip the sound, man. We done told you that um, OJ Simpson done passed away a couple of days ago, right? I think it was the day before yesterday, man. You know what I mean? He passed away at the age of, I think it was like 76 or something like that, man. And, um, uh... You know what happens now, O.J. Simpson. We know why he was why he was famous. Okay, uh, for he was famous for a variety of reasons, man. You know, he was an actor. He was a um, a football player, man. He had that whole um, court case that that went down, you know, crazy sideways. And believe it or not, the man was a comedian, man. He was in what? Yo, he was in the Naked Gun. That that film was incredible. That was like that's like you know, it's not my favorite film, but it's like up there with like the, my top. Maybe my top 10 favorite films You see what I'm saying? The Naked Gun Anyway, look, never mind all that um, This is the craziest thing that I've heard today Probably, okay um, O.J. Simpson's family Apparently signed An NDA A non-disclosure, right? Agreement, whatever On his deathbed Is that what NDA stands for? Let me look um, let, me let me type it, NDA, see what it stands for NDA, what the hell does that mean? Uh, non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, come on, you gotta trust yourself, bro. Listen, take a listen to what um, uh, Ebro and uh, Rosenberg had to say on the non on the NDA that uh, OJ Simpson's family had to sign. Take a listen real quick. All of OJ's kids went to go see him uh, on, on his way out. All, right. all the all the kids spent time with OJ, right. and and somewhere between thirty and fifty family members also did. All of which had to sign an NDA and were not allowed to have their cell phone in the room. And if and the kids? For, yeah, for everyone in his family. And I would just like to say that if you lived your life in a way where on your death door, people can't bring a cell phone and have to sign an NDA to be near you, you might have to catch this button on your way out. I'm sorry. Uh, congratulations. Just, you played yourself. <laughs> I'm sure because of OJ, he had, and some of his family was able to get money because of who he was. Then there's other ends of the family that probably want to make some money on or the way out the door. maybe want to make some money on the way out the door and sell a photo of the dead body to the tabloid. Now, what, what about a flip side, though, Ebro? What if there was a deathbed confession and that's why he needed the NDA? Hey, yo, this man's family had to sign an NDA? That is insane. Why? <laughs> Why would the family have to sign an NDA, man? What might O.J. Simpson say on his deathbed, right? That, and you know what? What might he say on his deathbed that that would require the family to be like, "Yo, you know what I mean? We gotta sign. We have to sign an NDA." And I'm like, how ironclad is the NDA? Cause okay, look, 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 look. let me let me let me just do it like this, okay? It is not our business, just as the public, right? Although he was a public figure. Every person that's a public figure, it is not our business to know all the details of their lives, okay? They have a public persona and they have a private persona. So in the private persona of their life, you know what I mean? Like, like that's the part that you don't need to have. You don't need to have that part. You know what I mean? You know, Jamie Foxx has a, his, that's not his name. Jamie Foxx has a, has a name name. OJ Simpson's public persona has nothing to do, I mean, his private uh, life has nothing to do with the public whatever so look his family signed the nda um which to me is just is just insane uh what do you think <laughs> what do you think might have been released there i'm just we just speculate we just talking we just talk we friends right we friends if you were sitting in the drive because right now i'm in the passenger seat if you were sitting in a driver's seat of the car and we was just talking what would you say is on that and like what what would you say the family probably heard like what would you think they heard man because i'm i'm gonna tell you what i think they heard 
I think they heard him say like you know what like i know the details i i do low-key know the details of what went down and you know this is what i know okay let me be blunt i think he he told them i think he told them what you look i think you and i both agree to what the family probably heard okay i'm gonna put it like that because i'm gonna be you know what I'm saying i think everybody has an idea of what they actually heard I want to know anybody that's related to that. Just look them in the eye. Just look them in the eye. What we need to do, we need, well, well, it's not our business. I was going to say we need to find the family members and just look at them. See if they look at us with a smirk. Um, I look, 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 man. Uh, yeah, so that's that's what went down with that. Uh, I was going to say something else on that, but I forgot. Listen, Lil Uzi Vert has decided to finally come clean and make obvious to the world what we all kind of sort of suspected. Take a listen to the braveness that Lil Uzi Vert exhibited during his confession while watching his career flash before his mind. Take a look. I've been holding this in for a very long time, man. I'm pretty sure a lot of you already knew this about me. But what I want to tell y'all tonight is I love y'all. Now, uh, um, so the comments on this video, it was wild, right? Because a lot of people, you know, he said like, like he goes by they or them or something like that. So all that identity, you know what I mean? That like, I don't really know what I am type stuff. Whenever people have the, it's interesting. Whenever there's a conversation about identity. So let me, let me, let me just, let me just go through this. Okay. The comments was wild. One person was like, yo, bro stopped himself from Lil Nasing. <laughs> Another person said, look, some um someone in the comment look, someone in the comments was like, bro seen his rap career flash before his eyes and was like, never mind. <laughs> somebody else said, um somebody else said he wanted to come out so bad he was this close. He was this close. Yeah, look, he did look like he wanted to say something other than what he actually said. Uh somebody else said why y'all relate everything to being gay in america bro that comment got 22 replies yeah yeah i don't know what it is man i think there's something about i i, I want to say america has a fascination with that but i but america i think is also a country who who worships sex <laughs> quite frankly and the media is huge on it and i think personally the media is trying to normalize um fetishes like strange sexual fetishes fetishes and practices and i think it's going to even um they're trying to normalize um exploitation of children that's personally what i believe okay uh the, look the, here's the thing man uh, a lot of people said bro was afraid to come out the, i think the idea is this a lot of hip-hop culture does not embrace homosexuality and um a rapper coming out as 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 such to be as frank as a glizzy will not be embraced by hip-hop you know it i know it we all know it okay consider this a lot of studies suggest that statistics for people that openly practice homosexuality range from three to five percent of the population now the estimate of the united states population is approximately 331 million now if my maths is correct okay Three to five percent of 331 million would be 9.9 .9 to 16 million people who identify as gay. And considering how many of those folks um, are deep into hip hop, although it's the largest or the most lucrative genre, the number might be even lower. Yeah, you know I'm saying like of, of the three to five percent. All I have to say this bro's career may have actually flashed before his eyes he may have been like yeah, i ain't ready right now you know what i'm saying look he probably thought of billy eilish's follower uh count crashing and burning after she came out and was like you know what i'm good you know what I'm like you know he probably didn't want that kind of smoke um and look that's just you know that's just kind of what it is man i mean like what do you like what do you want like he didn't want to he he was afraid of coming out because he know how you would be about it you know what i'm saying uh where we at over here man um all right, look, look, look. So, so with all that in mind, okay, I want you to take a look at this next clip that we have of Lil Uzi Vert performing. Take a look at this joint. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, 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 y
Look, look, why did that man had the pirate shirt from Seinfeld on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the pirate shirt that Seinfeld was rocking on that episode, wasn't he? That, the, then bro did the Russian dance drop, got up, vogued, and then did a twirl. I'm dead. <laughs> Listen, man, let me let me just throw this out here, put, put, put some knowledge on you real quick, okay? You're like, oh, here he go. Yeah, what? Listen, let me, let me tell you this. Because this country is so fascinated with sex and sexuality, right? Really sex, right? The, the idol of this country is sex, okay? So let me just put you on to this. What happens is this. Um, sexuality is placed on the same platform as identity. Your identity is not your sexuality. You understand what I'm saying? The reason why demons try to make it that I you like demons, whatever. The reason why the media, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to call it, which I think is influenced by um, uh, demons, right? Or demonology. The reason why sexuality is being equated with identity is because if you speak against the sexuality, people can rightfully, or at least they'll they'll think it's rightfully, say or rightfully defend the idea that you're speaking against their identity. See, your sexuality is just your sexuality. That's what it is. Your sexuality is not your identity. Your sexuality is, is what you like to do with your sex. You see what I'm saying? You either like to practice heterosexuality or you practice homosexuality or you practice bestiality or you practice violating children. Like that's what y'all do. So <laughs> you're like, not us. I'm just saying that's what people do. So in order to uh, normalize uh, uh, deviant sexual practices, you have to say that the, the sexual practice is your identity. So therefore, when someone speaks against the sexual practice, you could stand up and say, nah, nah, that's my identity. It's a trick. You, you follow what I'm saying, man? And it's a, if, as far as I'm concerned, it is a demonic trick. You know what I mean? Because you'll fight vigorously when you believe that somebody is speaking against your identity. Your heterosexuality or your homosexuality, it is not your identity because that is not what you like that's not the only thing that you are. You may practice heterosexuality or you may practice homosexuality, but your heterosexuality or your homosexuality is not you. When somebody asks you, who are you? You don't say, well, I'm heterosexual. You go into who you are. And that is one of the things that you do. You know what I'm saying? Sexuality is what you do, not who you are. I mean, come on, bro. Like anybody that believes it's their identity has been tricked. It just is what it is. Now, you, you, you can disagree with me if you want, but you just part of the trick. Anyway, look, um, never mind all that. Let me let me go to my shout outs real quick. That that um, <laughs> that usually quenches the mob, right? Uh, yeah, 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 man. Don't fall, don't fall for the okie doke, man. Your sexuality ain't your identity. That's a great way of folks be here. And, and here's part of the here's part of the trick of that, right? The what I've noticed is that when whenever you have um, if you have people that want to uh, practice or, or indulge in de uh, deviant sexual practices, right? Here's the thing. A lot of young people, right, teenagers, are very unsure about their own identity, about who they are, right? So because teenagers are unsure about their identity, what happens is uh, these folks come along and say, well, because you're unsure about your identity, there is actually a group for that. And then they stick you under this label and then try to say, see, that group of people that are also unsure about their identity are all this. And what is this? A form of sexuality. You see what I'm saying? Don't fall for it. My bad. Listen, uh, shout outs. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right, 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 right. Um, listen, man. Uh, now we just got to try to put people on to the best of our ability. Listen, um, shout out to Ladena Wendy. Ladena, I asked the question: What does a woman, um, what does a man need to understand about a woman? Right? Ladena said, "What's essential for a man to understand about a woman? Two things: We are not all the same, so don't ever compare any woman to another woman. I know all women say that. Two, we are uh, as simple as we are complex. Uh, okay." Okay, that's what Ladena said. All right, we take that. Um, 
D's DW. <laughs> D's DW said, what Finesse Two Times is doing, that is um, with the kid around them, right? Trying to put the kid on, is nothing short of what's been going on the whole time. It's just what social media highlights. It's been young ninjas introduced to the game since the beginning of time. Movies like Hall of Nights, Hero Ain't Nothing um, But a Sandwich, uh, been showed you. Nothing new under the sun and shadows are real. Take it how you overstand it. Oh boy, he used the word overstand. Folks need to kill the self-righteousness. That kid could be somewhere in a worse situation needing a GoFundMe or something like that. Don't forget the stats on single mothers versus single fathers in the lives of raising boys. I'm just saying, people either step in to help or shut the cuff up, okay? And I know he's not the Jits Pops, so double shut the cuss up. I'm over here like, wait, wait, he talking to me like that, bro? He said, not you, Celeb. <laughs> he said, but them other folk, father muckers. But you kind of was talking to me, though. But look, 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 here's the thing, man, real talk. Um... Like, you can, like, how can I say this? The kid could need a GoFundMe. So you say, well, he's better off with Finesse Two Times pouring money on him than having a GoFundMe. Listen, man, a kid having a GoFundMe or a kid being um, oversaturated with too much wealth at an early age where he doesn't need too much, they're both equally destructive. So, like, we, we can't go on one extreme or the other thinking, like, well, well, you know, we don't want him to be impoverished, so we're going to lavish him with wealth. No, wealth destroys, like, countless people. You see it all the time. Most of the people we're talking about, we're watching wealth destroy them. You see what I'm saying? Look, wealth destroys so many people, they will get all kinds of um, uh, uh, body part adjustments. And I be feeling bad because when people make babies with them, the babies come out looking like what the person originally looked like and not the plastic surgery version of them. You see what I'm saying? I'll be looking at ugly children and I'm like, yo, that ugly child looks like the person before the plastic surgery. My bad. Let me keep it going. Uh, King George said, yo, I caught the flowers reference that you said. I like how you randomly throw things in your presentation, letting us know you be reading the comments. You know I be reading all these comments, man. You know what I'm saying? That'd be the joy of my day. Ms. T said, uh, what men need to know is that women are the weaker vessel. Okay, we got that. Um... Uh, and when she said weaker, it's not just, I think, weaker in a variety of ways. You see what I'm saying? And this is why men need to care, support, protect, provide for women, I believe. Now, women are strong in a lot of ways where men are relatively, I want to say, weak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to Red. Red always come through. Just leave me three hearts, three pink hearts, man. We love you, Red. Real talk. You look like one of my coworkers, though, man. I ain't going to say who, but you look just like my coworker. You know, we, you might could have worked with me. Um, uh, if you did, just text me. Uh, Jita Ski <laughs> said It's essential for men to understand That women are not in a relationship with them To be their mommies Be the 50% partner that y'all expect us to be um, I disagree with you We should all be 100% 100% Okay. Uh, and lastly Boogeyman said It's essential for a man to understand That not even the damn women understands herself Now that comment I can stand behind Okay um, <laughs> Shout out to you Boogeyman I really like that comment all right, let's get right back to a rap this bad boy. I don't know. I know a lot of y'all mad. Like this nigga, he talked too much. Whatever. And we at twenty with our n words now. Yesterday, right? We reported to you that finesse two times and NBA young boy were trading shots because each one was mentioning the other's lady. Now finesse two times came back and decided to add on to what he was saying yesterday. I want you to take a listen to what he had to say. Man, that young is ignorant, man. I was just sending my condolences. And shit. I ain't know what the young was going through, like. Man, my people really over here like, man, what's going on? Like, we don't know. Like, maybe the young is just going through it up there, man, sitting in their house. We're going to get the benefit of the doubt. You know what I'm saying? This, that, and the third. Man, the whole time, this young is mad because I'm liking his bitch pictures. This ain't even not your bitch. Like, this ain't, bro. You, so you tell about all your baby mamas, young You ready to risk your freedom, your life, about a bitch that's going to go. Whether you want her to or not. Hey, bro, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, little homie. I come from some pimping, my I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, like I didn't I didn't hear about some players and in Baton Rouge. Like, I didn't hear about some. But, man, you gotta you gotta know what Memphis stand for to know what I stand on, bro. You hear me? Like, bro, where I come from, bro, like, bro, I asked my baby mama and them, bro. I didn't, I didn't lay next door. Heard my baby mama and them get they back beat out for two, three hundred when I was broken. I'm cut different. Imagine what I'm gonna do about that two, three hundred thousand you gonna spend. What the fuck is you talking about, boy? Ain't nobody getting in they feelings, boy. Well, I'm in Houston, man, and, and I'm always outside. 
You know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, I ain't trying to die by no bitch, bro. So I'm going to go ahead and let it be known, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go find the bitch TikTok, man. I'm going to go unlike everything. I'm finna go unlike everything. I don't want no problem. I don't want to die, bro. And if I do die, I don't want to die by no bitch, homie. It's over with. I ain't, I ain't going out like that, homie. You can die. You can lose your life and your freedom about a bitch. I ain't finna do it, homie. Very interesting. Very interesting. That man, that man said, I don't want, he said, I don't want to die behind a lady. I'm going to go unlike all her vids and pics because I know how ninjas act. <laughs> you know what I'm Now, a lot of folks would say that um, Finesse Two Times is a punk for doing that, right? But, uh, but a lot of folks are punching the flames of hell right now behind a woman. Real talk. You see what I'm saying? And, and so, so, you know what I'm saying? I give Finesse Two Times his prop for doing that, man. I think that was wise for him to do. And um, so respect to him for that. And because I'm currently writing this and listening to Michael Jackson's Wanna Be Starting Something, I'm gonna play this completely unreleased, uh, uh, no, not unreleased, completely unrelated clip of this young lady saying this about men and men getting killed behind women. Take a listen. Stop calling your brothers and your cousins for every little argument because you women sit on social media, you sit around, oh, everybody yes. killing everybody, but you never tell the truth that it's been a thousand shootings and homicides trickle back down and you running your fucking mouth or you calling somebody and exaggerating because you feel disrespected. Stop calling people. You can argue with somebody on the block that said, leave it there. You call your brother, now these niggas going through it the whole summer and then somebody child die about it. That, that's your fault. That's your fault. You can't sit back and say it's not your fault because they went too far. You shouldn't have called them. That was an incredible, completely unrelated video. <laughs> you know why? And, and you're, like, you're like, why you dropped that vid? So that don't relate nothing to what Finesse Two Times got going on. Yeah, well, I, I added that because I'm like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, let me be clear. NBA Young Boys Lady and Finesse Two Times Lady have nothing to do with any smoke that's potentially developing between these two artists. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to say they don't even got smoke. Finesse is like, nah, I'm going to gracefully bow out of this one because I know how things can go down. So, um, so, so if stupidity were to go down, it would have nothing to do with the women in that situation. And if Finesse unlikes the vids and he unlikes the TikTok pics, right? It wouldn't be on uh, uh, TikTok video. It wouldn't even be on finesse if stupidity broke out. It will be solely on NBA YoungBoy or his peoples. Okay, um, so hopefully you know YoungBoy is like man, whatever on this. You know what I'm saying? But but what that lady said though, it was real talk. Shooting and killings happen between hyper emotional dudes that have no self control and don't know how to govern their emotions. Real talk. You know it. I know it. You know what I'm saying? Cause well, you know why. Okay. Shout out to my men out there imparting real masculinity into the next generation of young men. And a large part of that real masculinity includes having self-control. Okay. Uh oh, 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 let me give you this one real quick. What's my time? Like, I right, listen, man. Rico Wade. All right, Rico Wade has passed away. You like who is that? He's a, a legendary hip hop producer. Okay. He um passed away at the age of 52, which is really kind of young. Like <laughs> Look, all the young people are like, man, that's old. All the old people are like, man, that's young. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right, so look, he's a he's a songwriter, record producer, and he's passed away. Now, he is one-third of the Atlanta-based production team of Organized Noise, and they created hits for Outkast, okay? They created hits for The Goody Mob and TLC, okay? Um, and he was also a member of the Dungeon family, all right? So, um, your prayers up to his loved ones, man. A lot of people, um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are feeling that one, man. You know what I mean? Uh, it's crazy, too, man, because a lot of people are like, oh, Death Coming Threes, you know what I'm saying? Rico Wade, OJ Simpson, um, Mr. C. But there's mad people that die, bro. Not just these three people, man. These are just the three we tell you about, man. All kinds of people die, man. People gonna, people gonna die tonight. Let me tell you something, man. There's someone that put on their socks today that's gonna be in hell tonight. I'm just throwing it out there <laughs> you're like why why not heaven heaven too heaven too heaven is great if you if you put on your socks this morning and wound up in heaven tonight you are good but a lot of people look <laughs> he said broad is the way and many are on the path to hell that's what he said yeah you know i mean the road to hell is filled with many people so there's a lot of people that put on their socks today thinking it's sweet and they're gonna end up in the flames you know what i'm saying 
So um, be sure to repent. Uh, be sure to hit the like button if you agree with that. And also be sure to um, get, get closer to the most high. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with doing that, man. Actually, that's kind of wise. If you don't want to get closer to the most high, then, then you ain't wise. Um, just to be just to be as blunt and frank as possible. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I, look, 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 take, take a look at this. All you people that don't know how to drive, but you're too old. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you, you are of age, but you don't want to... You know what I'm saying? All oh, you Rick Rosses out there, you Cardi B's out there. Well, I can't say Cardi B because Cardi B is learning how to drive. Actually, she just learned how to drive her, uh, I think it's her Rolls Royce. Take a look at this video real quick. Left, see the arrow going left? You can keep going, follow okay. that car. We're just strolling through the neighborhood. Okay. Okay, 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 slow down, slow down. <laughs> hey, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous. It's, it's like a lot going okay, on. Okay, so let's go to the right. Left, right, left, right, go, right. Let's go to the right. Yeah. Okay. Put your blinker on. What's the, okay. What's the fucking blinker? <laughs> the blinker is gonna be on the left. Okay. Side. I put it on. Okay. Hold on. I'm scared. Okay. All right. You know, let's just go straight, and we can turn around in this driveway. It's raining too much. Okay. I think I think I should I think I should just give you the foot. Okay. No. Okay. We're All right. We're gonna go up here, and I think it's a cul-de-sac. We can turn around. A what? A cul-de-sac. It's like a big circle. Okay. We, we can make a big U-turn. Okay. Uh. I can't see nothing. I need my glasses. Uh, all right. Oh, it was a little. Okay, so let's keep. We'll keep. Wait, is this like a dead end? Is this some? I think this is somebody's house. So we're gonna. You, you. We can make a big uh, a U turn here. I think if you just go. Where? So if you go straight and then we can back in to here. You see? Maybe the lights distracted. So we go what straight. What light? This one. Maybe a little bright. Okay. Can you see now? So we go straight and then you back up into here and we pull out. Easy. Wait. Go right. So we're gonna go straight, straight, and then we'll reverse uh, into this driveway. Reverse is like going back, right? Yeah. I think you should do it. You don't wanna do it? No. The Cardi B doing the damn thing. See, that's what I'm talking about right there, man. You know what I mean? Always learning something, man. Look, 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 look. It's beautiful, it's beautiful watching um, uh, folks try to learn. But it ain't beautiful trying to watch them learn how to drive. Especially when you're in the passenger side. And that joint is horrible. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, be sitting with folks touch, trying to learn how to drive, man. I'll be holding the, the, the little handle that's above the, the, the window. I'll be holding that joint and my arms on the side of the, like you're on a roller coaster. That joint is horrible. Uh, what we got over here, man? Let me see. All right, look, look, look. And finally, Boosie has uh, decided to speak on the beef that's going on between J. Cole, uh, between, not J. Cole, J. Cole's out of it. He apologized. The the beef that's brewing between, well, it's not really beef, but the hip-hop battle rap situation that's going on between um, Kendrick Lamar and Drake, okay? Uh, Boosie said this. He's everybody gassing up rap beef, shaking my head. He's all excited to see this as hip-hop. Um, uh, well, everyone in the crew not going to see it that way. And when it pop off, it really goes down. So when someone from one of these crews die, don't say they stupid. Boosie, I'm gonna say exactly that. I'm gonna say exactly that. If you are killing anybody behind this hip hop beef, Boosie, I think you're wrong on this. Oh, my bad, let me keep reading. He said, he said, don't say they stupid. Shaking my head, go support them in court like y'all supported the rap beef. How would you feel if your family member died because of hip hop rap beef? I would think my family members is dumb as hell. Why would you die over rap beef? It's just music. <sighs> imagine, imagine, imagine people dying over a painting. It's stupid, man. Real talk, like you're not supposed to be killing each other over rap beef. You that in your feelings and in your emotions that you're gonna go and kill somebody instead of um, try to try to paint a better picture? Gosh, can't stand that. Uh, my bad. He, he said, how would you feel if your family member died? I would feel mad because they died over some stupidity that they could have avoided. My fault. How would you feel if your family member died because of rap beef? I'm from Louisiana. Every rap beef I've seen people die. Y'all so happy about who gonna win or lose, but a mama is gonna lose her son and ain't none of y'all going to the funeral. Shaking my head. And then he added, um, I guess a lot of people didn't like what he said. He added, uh, the truth hurts and y'all response is this. Drake, Kendrick, J. Cole, ASAP, Quavo, Chris Brown, Boosie, them are... Uh, them are they people wait wait them wait boosie them they people those people ain't like that shaking my head okay y'all keep thinking that judging a book by its cover and get you uh could get you put under a cover um no no i disagree with boosie right here man 
Like, no, I, I, I understand what he's saying. He's saying, yo, man, these hip hop beefs do spiral out of control, whether we like it or not. Yeah, what we're saying is that's stupid as hell. Like, literally, right? Like, as stupid as it, as it is to wind up, to end up in hell after all the goodness you've received. And then you still like, man, F God, I'm going to do my own thing. Like, I don't. And then you wind up in hell. You an idiot for that. And if you are rapping and somebody else is rapping and y'all trading shots back and forth and you're like i'm gonna get my gun and shoot somebody you're an idiot period like and that's just what it is and they, oh well you hurt my feelings i'll kill you that's why people be like they don't want to that's why I finesse two times is like yo man forget all this like because he knows that people can behave real stupidly can i say that stupidly um, anyway, check this out, man. Uh, J. Cole removed his his diss against Kendrick Lamar. He removed his seven minute drill. Take a listen to what he had to say about that. Yo, E, we taking that song off of fucking streaming services, nigga. My niggas just don't have to deal with it. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he removed his song. Um, a lot of people are like, like, you know, he ain't really had to do all that. But maybe he got the heads up. Maybe somebody told him, like, yo, man, you know what I mean? If you don't remove that, boy, it's up. Like, you know what I mean? And we don't care who's in the car with you. And maybe he looked around and was like, man, these folks are stupid and ignorant. Man, let me just remove it because I don't want no smoke coming to my peoples. Okay, I get with that. And really, maybe that's what Boosie's talking about. Maybe Boosie is like, yo, you know what? If J. Cole riding in a car with somebody... If somebody really had an issue with that seven minute drill song and they really decide they want to shoot up the man car j cole will be upset that he even had the song up because he know why the people in the car got murked so and i guess that that really is a reflection on hip the hip-hop community you look we, we need some more conscious rappers out here because apparently it must be the hip-hop community is dumb as hell how y'all the only ones shooting people behind the, the things that's going on in the music why they don't shoot people like over country music are they smarter than hip-hop music you understand what i'm saying man people ain't dying off of these other genres they die off of hip-hop so that makes me believe that it's like this genre got the dumbest listeners because why don't the other genres have people murdering each other you follow what i'm saying man i don't know let us know. Well, I guess it makes sense. I mean, if the music is murder music, then of course you're gonna get murders. <laughs> Come on, celeb, get it, get it together. You, are you, are you, you don't want as dumb. Yeah, I guess I am. Anyway, let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Maybe I'm crazy. Uh, be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.